Hello everybody, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to talk about some of the most common medical abbreviation and some of my favorite ones. If you are new to the healthcare field, this might be a helpful video to you. Let's jump on in. So some of the most common medical abbreviation are related to time when medication are given or treatment are supposed to be done. So that's what we are going to focusing on this bunch. First one is QD. QD means every day. Then we have BID. BID is gonna be twice a day. TID three times a day. QID four times a day. So you sort of see the pattern there and then this one Q4H. So that's every four hours. And then this can continue. This could be Q6H every six hours. QH every hours and it could be Q30 minutes every 30 minutes whatever the doctor orders. The next one is AC which would be before meal and PC after meal. Now HS. HS means at bedtime or night time so until might have you be given right before the person goes bad then PRN which is one of the very very common one which means given as needed so if somebody needs a pain medication at night time or when somebody feel pain and then you should give as needed the next step of medical abbreviation are roots of the administration of medication so the first one we are gonna be looking at is BO so that mean by mouth so this is a pills a pills which be given by mouth they will take is orally I am I am is intramuscular like a flu shot or any type of injection that has to go into the muscle IV IV is intravenous fluid or medication that has to be given through vein it's called IV intravenous the next one is SC or SQ depending on where you are would be subcutaneous. So this again is an injection but instead of going into the muscle it goes into the fat tissues and that's one of the easier injection to give. And then SL which is sublingual and that just mean under the tongue so you put a little tablet underneath the tongue and it dissolves and that's how a person gets the medication. Now the next set, DS is diagnosis. So if they have a diagnosis or stroke or heart failure. Next one is HX, which means history. A sort of the same idea. They have history of stroke or uh, history of car accident, etc. HX means uh, uh, simply history. TX is treatment. And Rx is one of the most common one. You might see it uh, on a prescription pad because it means prescription. So thank you very much for watching. And uh, we will make a second part of this video. Keep watching.